Hey, this is Brittany Slace from Unleash the Archers, and we are currently on our North American tour with Striker and Helium Prime, and this is our tour rig. <laughs> this is the shotgun seat here. Uh, as you can see, we've been through Texas, so the boys all bought uh, their cowboy hats. Uh, our driver is George. He's a friend of ours from the UK. He's actually a Kiwi. Uh, we met him last year on tour through Europe and uh, kind of just fell in love with the guy. He fit in really well with the band, so we brought him over for this tour to drive for us again. This is Andrew's seat. So, um, Waffle House, he stole one of the mugs. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, just kind of went outside for a smoke and then never returned. This is our Fortune Kitty. Uh, we've had her for, I think, eight years now. She was inside the trailer, the first trailer that we bought. She was just the only thing in there. The guys sold us the trailer and this little cat was just sitting in there. So she has been on every tour bus we've ever been in. It doesn't matter if it was our old van or um, a big double decker in Europe. She's always with us. She's always on the front dash and uh, she brings us good fortune. So um, yeah, that's kind of really the basics of it up here. It's pretty messy. <laughs> All right. So this is the main cabin here. This is Scott's seat. And then I sit next to him there. You can see my pillow that my mother-in-law made for me. That's my tour pillowcase. I only bring that on tour. It's, um, it's so that it can get dirty and you don't know that, <laughs> that it's dirty. This is George's acoustic guitar here. When we're in the venue, he uh, comes out here and practices and sometimes gives lessons. Um, he's also the one that's in charge of all the music too, by the way. So pretty much whatever we listen to is what George wants to hear. He's doing a lot of driving, so it's all up to George. Um, as you can see here, this is kind of my little snack tray. <laughs> Doritos always have Sour Patch Kids on hand. Always. These things are the best after a show um, when you just need like a sugar rush and some calorie intake. Uh, Sour Patch Kids are my favorite. So a lot of fans have been bringing us Sour Patch Kids. So it's been actually pretty amazing. I haven't run out yet. Um, there's This was actually given to us last night. So it's full of cheesies and of course my favorite, the like kilogram bags of Sour Patch Kids. So there's also like 15 Four Locos in here. So it's going to be a wild night tonight. <laughs> Thank you to Alicia, by the way, for that. Well, actually, Scott here has what we call the safety sack, which is basically just a Tupperware full of all the things that you don't want to get broken. I have one as well. Mine is pink. And then back here, this is Grant's seat, and he's got um, his little merch bag here of Tester Metal Records Schwag, which is his uh, record label. He has a bunch of bands from all over North America and um, a couple from overseas on his label as well. Pretty much, yeah. Everyone's got Sour Patch Kids at their at their chair. That's Nick in the back. Uh, he's uh, our, our fill-in bass player on this tour. He plays in a band called First Fragment from Montreal. And uh, he's actually a guitar player, but he's killing it on the four strings for us this time. And then Alan, the smallest guy in the van, actually, the guy who sells our merch, has the whole back row to himself. And so most of the time, he's sleeping. <laughs> so, like I said, we went to Texas, so we've got here a Stetson, the real deal. Um, we put it back in the back seat here so that it doesn't get ruined. I didn't want to open it up for you here if you can see it. So, brand new Stetson for Scott. Protected back here in the merch area. Oh, I can't close it. And, um, yeah, basically, oh, um, I don't know if you guys know what these are, but they're maple cookies. They were given to Alan at our, uh, our last show in Canada, in Montreal, and they are like the best thing ever. And anytime you go to Canada, being Canadian, you gotta get yourself some of these because they're so tasty. And of course they're empty because we've eaten them all and now I got crumbs everywhere. But not like that's a new thing or anything. <laughs> nice of Mercedes to provide power for us here. Each person has a USB plug um, in between their seats. And then there's also 120 volts on the side here as well that you can plug into so no uh, you never have to worry about your phone dying which is really nice um, especially when you're uh, sucking the Wi-Fi pretty hard <laughs> uh, one thing that's really nice about this one is that there it comes with a TV and it actually also comes with a PS4 uh, so this is a Bandigo um, rig here and what's been played the most actually is uh, NHL 18 I think 
and uh, that's been Grant a lot, playing a lot of NHL. So um, every time I look up here, I'm just kind of watching hockey. It's really nice. <laughs> so we have been selling merch like crazy on this tour. Like um, it's been like actually stressful how much merch we've had to re-up constantly, like emergency pickups in, in every other town. So right now this is what the back of our trailer looks like or our sprinter because we don't want to get any more merch so we just got like tons and tons and tons of it it goes all the way to the back boxes right up to the roof and then there's the ones that are inside right now for uh, for sale at the merch table so this is um, this is full to the brim right to the edge with merch and then our luggage most of the time <laughs> so this is uh, our cooler we bought it I think like in Portland we bought it like one day into the into the tour just because it proved useful and uh, what we got in here is a couple of craft brews that were given to us last night from a fam and always um, some extra waters from the night before and then whatever we can steal from the from the green room at the end of the night goes in here and uh, gets recycled for the next day so this guy right here is paramount and usually it actually ends up coming into the hotel room with us too so that's why it's on wheels. So that's our rig. I hope you guys had a good time looking at all our dirty stuff. Um, catch us on the road. We're on the road for another two weeks here. And if not, we'll see you guys in the new year. We're playing 70,000 tons of metal in January. And uh, we're going to be putting out a new EP in the spring as well. So make sure you uh, look for that. We'll have a music video up for you pretty soon too. So thanks so much for all your support, you guys.